that your profile is all set up, there's so much information about you that the people in your network can already figure out based on your profile. How do you then build your network? So you can't just stop at setting up your profile. Okay, na ko. You have to add people or connect with people on the platform. So again. It's the same thing. My level one, level two, and level three. Tayo of this, you don't have to go through all the levels. But my recommendation is, at the very, very least, do the level one stuff. Um, just so hindi ka magumuhang troll account na like gumawa ka ng LinkedIn profile na fake and then wala kang connections at all. So you'd want to make at least some connections there. So for level one, just connect with people that you know. So these are some batch mates, some classmates, maybe org mates, and people that you work. So very basic stuff. People that you already know. People that when you send um, a LinkedIn connection invite to, they're gonna know. Ah, si Dirian accept invitation, right? So, walang hesitation that they're gonna connect with you because they know you. So here are the people that you can um, start adding or start connecting with to build your network. And you can stop there. You can be very strict with yourself. Now I'll only add the people that I know. That I know personally, that are I'm sure are gonna remember me when they see my name on on the network list, right? Level two, though, um, and this is what like what you can do right after this talk. For example, is you can connect with people that you meet. So people who spoke at an event you attended, I've received invites like this, where they attended a talk that I did and they connected with me on LinkedIn. Um, just to keep me in their network, right? We didn't necessarily like exchange business cards, right? But they they just decided to like I want you to be part of my network, so you can do that. People who spoke at an event you attended, or at the same time, people who attended the same event. So before the pandemic, I used to attend some networking events, and I would meet people there. And the number one thing that I would do, um, not even just to get their business card, because it's magkakaubusan yan, is add the up on LinkedIn, like right in front of them. I'd be like, what's uh, what's your name on LinkedIn? Let me add you um, so that I can chat up with you after um, if there's anything that pops up from our conversation, right? Um, but another thing is that you can add people introduced to you. So this is something that happens now um, as my network expands. So kilala ng kilala ko. Basically, um, so for example, I'm looking for uh, for opportunities, right? Let's say I'm looking for more opportunities in the education space. And so I tell people that I connect with or at least people in my network that, hey, I'm looking for I'm looking for opportunities in the education space. If you know anyone, please connect me with them. And then these really, really lovely, nice people in my network would introduce me to some people. And so that's how I will add them on LinkedIn and that's where the conversation starts. So you can level two of building your network on LinkedIn is adding people that you meet. So sometimes these people they don't know you by name immediately, right? Because like for example, the audience I don't know your individual names. So um, when I see your invite in my on my LinkedIn, I'm not gonna instant be um, you know recognize. Oh, that's Kath. Cat from the Head Start event. I'm not gonna necessarily remember that immediately. So one thing that you do when you're building your network on this level is you send a note, right? So you can send a note. Hi, I attended this event too. So for example, you're adding someone who attended the same event, right? You can say, Hi, I added this event too. I found your question interesting. Just wanted to connect with you. Looking forward to seeing you in more events, right? So just adding a note just so people remember. Ah, ikaw yung namit ko na ganito, or ikaw yung nagtanong ng question, or oh. Nakilala mo ko because you attended this event. So add the note. Para lang hindi awkward, especially if the type of person you're adding up isn't the type to add just anyone. Um, don't worry. Usually after an event, I'm very worried that I do get connections. So even if you don't send me a note, I'm I'm usually gonna accept your invitation. So don't worry about that. But not everyone's like me, so just be careful and and send the note if you want. So that's. Level two of building your network, right? But there is level three, and this is a bit more advanced. Um, again, I know that not everyone would want to do this, but just so you're aware, or if you, in case you feel like you're ready to do this, um, I have some tips for you as well. But here are um, the people that you can connect with further if you want to build your net 
network um, and expand it even further, right? So people you want to meet, so you you haven't necessarily met them yet, but you want to meet them. So let's say you have a target company or industry, right? So let's say you want to work for Invested Philippines and you don't know anyone in the company, but you do want to get to know people in the company. So you can probably connect with them. Again, um, please send them a note. I'll give you an example in a, in a little while. Um, but you can connect with people who work at your target company or industry or people offering help or services. So there are really, really nice people on LinkedIn, let's say, who are um, offering services as like, I'm coaching, I'm doing career coaching for free or I'm willing to review resumes for free or um, if you want to prepare for your next interview, I'm doing, I have some free time, I want to do mock interviews. There are really lovely people who are offering their help or their services on LinkedIn. So if you encounter one of their posts, but they're not really part of your network, um, these are people that you want to meet and you want to connect with, right? Or let's say there are people on link on your LinkedIn feed showing up with who constantly post stuff that you like or that you're interested in. Um, these are people that you want to connect with also and keep as part of your uh, part of your network uh, if you want to expand it further. So just make sure that you uh, leave a note or send a note when you're connecting with them. So this comes as an option on LinkedIn when you click connect and then they usually give a suggestion leave a note uh, so that um, they know what you're connecting for. So here's an example of like if you want to connect with someone um, from the company that you're planning to join, right? So here's an example. You can browse their profile. You can give them a compliment. I saw on your profile that you moved up so fast, which is amazing. And I wanted to get some advice, right? And then you can continue the conversation from there. So these are people that you've never, ever met. Um, but in case that they do accept your in invitation to connect on LinkedIn, they're going to be very valuable, um, very valuable assets to your network. So just think about that. Thumbs up to you. <laughs> Your profile, but uh, yeah, that's another that's another tip for those who want to like truly, truly level up their networking game on LinkedIn.